Congratulations, Tennis. And uh, Peter Graham, you are back. I'm happy you are back. And let me say thank you very much for this occasion. And from the outset, let me acknowledge uh, ExxonMobil since 2008. ExxonMobil after today, and um, ExxonMobil going forward. Why don't, I, why don't each and every one of you in the room uh, uh, tonight just join me and say thank you very much for the wonderful leadership, Axel Morgan and so I want to uh, firstly acknowledge all ministers who are here uh, and governors. Uh, special mention to uh, Chairman Daddy Toker, who's also here uh, as the chairman of the Motu Quaker Assembly on whose land we enjoy life so much. It's one of the six persons here uh, this evening. <coughs> to my friends in ExxonMobil, uh, Chairman and MD, uh, Tara, so, Sandro, you did a wonderful speech and you certainly be feeling well for those who came before you. Uh, see that uh, next to you, the patriarch of the PhD Energy Project, I may say. Mr. Graham, thank you for being here uh, this evening and for this occasion. Of course, Andrew and uh, Julie, thank you for coming back to be with us uh, this, on this important milestone moment. And I want to acknowledge uh, our friends from Santos. Uh, used to be Santos and Oilsets before, and uh, <laughs> there's now Santos. So thank you, uh, Brett and the team from Santos who are here tonight from Santos. Santos. Uh, JX Nikon and all Project Partners, MRDC on behalf of all our landowners and provinces right across the five uh, impact <coughs> provinces, uh, Managing Director Augustin Mano. Uh, little did I knew when I proposed to then Prime Minister Somari uh, that he would be the longest selling MD and the most impactful one of MRDC. And so congratulations on the opportunity. At 2024, he and myself and Minister Duma possibly belongs to the very rare club and the landowners who are present of those who continue to be the energy from concept to construction to 10 years of operation. So congratulations, Managing Director and I'm seeing a hit on it's a wonderful uh, indication of the success that the MRPC has played and the contribution by uh, PNG Energy. Every Wapu Song and those at the Kumu uh, thank you for your presence and your continued leadership and your uh, wonderful story that is going on. To our LNG buyers, without you, the project would not be successful. I just returned from Japan and Mother Sun is possibly here and others. Uh, Japanese Prime Minister told me, Mr. Prime Minister, we need more gas and I said, give me the right price and I'll give you more gas. <laughs> and so, and, uh, uh, to all our energy buyers, we want to say thank you very much. To all our landowners, you gave us a social license. It was not easy. It was not easy, and I hope some of the photos are running as I'm speaking at the back. Uh, it was not easy, especially at four o'clock in the morning. When we slept, uh, we were not, the last time we slept was almost 50 hours, uh, and we were awake right through. At uh, 4 o'clock, 4 10 in the morning, I delivered five speeds. Uh, and you can see that's somebody that packing my big plan on the top of my. <laughs> Just read this photo for a moment. Uh, every song, this photo was a journey onwards to the boat where 4.22 was gifted to the five provinces and landowners you have to deliver this. I see now sending a speech speed. In case some of you forget, so I was still around to remind of the commitment of this great old man. He was on the boat to commit to Edison Michael and myself at 4.22 or 27% later of the, of the uh, pass on. In any case, so thank you, uh, all our landowners, you've been around from day one. As I'm speaking, some photos will be going on in the back, so keep your eyes busy. And I want to thank my brother, Arthur Sumare. Uh, Atta Sumare stepped on many toes in those days, but all for the good reason, and uh, he's here tonight with us. Thank you, ATS. We thank you, Big Mahamla, you, thank you, Tomas, Big Mahamla, Wokla, you, Mantel Lafun, 
My colleague of Venice, Mr. Vietna, Vietna Thomas, thank you, Thomas, for leadership for you for this part time. You were able to separate all of us, our public servants, we look at Matthias staff, then all of our staff, who said, you know, very well, you've seen all the hair and all that. Some of these wonderful young faces back then, we all aged in the very best way. You see some of my photos inside, keep it on, that's Duma and Duma, that's where the room is there. Uh, that's up, I think at Heights, in one of those early days, like some signings. I'll maybe explain something, let me go to my streets. <laughs> so keep your eyes up there, you're years to me. You'll see some interesting photos. For me, uh, I've got more white hair now, but uh, I have more black hair back then. In any case, the project is a trans transformational project. The National Alliance government must be connected. They have the foresight. In 2008, and I, I will see one of the seniors also here in the room with me, sorry for not making mention, say Moy Abe, was amongst those seniors who played the first of all. And I recognize of him, him and me share come some similarities. We, we both learn the politician, him learn the downstream, and me learn the upstream. And the same way I'm sitting here, I want to acknowledge him. This project has been a transformational project. Uh, Ten years since production, only known total value back to economy, 26.313 billion kina. 26.313 billion kina all on record. Royalty, 1.332 billion. I want to ask all elements, especially upstream, let us help complete the process so that you could get your royalties. A development levy, uh, 1.261 billion kina uh, equity, the uh, 2% for our landowners plus the uh, Kudubu equity distributed to MRDC, 1.939 billion kina uh, distribution to Kumul for 16.57% uh, equity, plus 9.648 billion kina Total tax, uh, personal income tax as well as payroll tax, dividend and government tax, all in all 12.132 billion kina. And so, as of today, after 1,069 cows, we have received in country uh, directly 26.3 billion kina. You are sitting in a hotel that is evident of uh, income stream from PNG LMG that has assisted MRDC in growing and today you see in the World Class Hilton Hotel. In 2008, when we were discussing PNG Energy, I never thought we would have a Hilton at all. <laughs> Who in 2008 thought there would be a Hilton at all? And I uh, guess what? You know, it's not coincidentally it is at all. But I want to appreciate this, the hindsight spirit behind Hilton at all. In 1967, when the greats of Pangu Party, including Grand Chief Somara himself, in 68, when they conceived the idea of nationhood, nationhood was conceived in the suburbs of Orla. Nationhood was conceived in the suburbs of Orla. They were living up there in one of those small cubicles that called house, that housed the nationals and the expert in Morocco and Togo Hills. And the national standing led by Fire Somara and everybody else said, how can we be treated as second class citizens in our own land? We should be living like those living in Morocco and Danta. And so the thought of nationhood was better than all. I want to appreciate Exxon Mobil. You exacerbated the dream to be a modern nation when it came on. After 2008 and the concept, con concept was conceived and the construction was made, and the project start to deliver, we're able to now move from the whole uh, suburbians to a uh, lifestyle that is 21st century in Port Mosby here in the whole suburb. I can handle this one. <laughs> it's also means a transition from that suburban to what life can be in modern PNG in 2008 to 2024 PNG energy project and a hand in making this leap possible. I want to say thank you again uh, for joining those Papua New Guinea speakers before me to thank ExxonMobil. We came in 2008 when 
the world was in stress. Everybody around the world faced a uh, global financial crisis. You jumped on board, and I want to say I was uh, I was then a, a freshman into politics. Uh, the old man, Prime Minister Somaria, took me into his cabinet. There was one uh, mining conference we held in Sydney, and uh, Arthur and my bro uh, two brothers, Patrick and Paul, took me down George Street. And they sat me down, and I said, we, gotta, we, we have to now, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, do some sort of uh, uh, ceremonies to welcome into cabinet. And I said, I'm not yet a cabinet minister, I was still a vice minister. And I said, you're now stepping into cabinet. And the old man, the prime minister said so. We're now going to initiate you to be a cabinet minister. They did some initiation. <laughs> you know, he don't want to know what initiation is all about. It belongs to those of us in that in club. So in any case, they told me you would be in cabinet. And I came into politics in 2007 to deliver Hela province and also to work on the economy space. And I was in the mid 90s after university, went back to Heights and Hella and was working there. I have uh, the P PDL1, is, I relate to two tribes in PDL1. My father is from the Kopani clan and my mom is from the Kopani clan. And so uh, uh, my entry into politics was for Heights or PNG or LNG in any case. Good things happened in Heights for me anyway. I met my wife. Heights also, so we were not working in Heights in those days. And uh, when we were waking up there, there was a conversation on several lead uh, LNG that would be piped to WIWEC, and it was abundant. Later on, there was an oil sets lead conversation on a piped LNG to Gladstone in Australia. And myself and Governor Nyele were deep protesters in, 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 uh, in Update the Heights Valley. They, we will not allow, and Edison Agnew was also a big protester, we will not allow PNG gas to be piped to Australia. We've got to do it in our country, and I was one of those, still not in politics, but out in the field, saying our gas will not be piped to Australia. And uh, that was in 2000, I think, 99, 2000, thereabouts, and in 2008, when Exxon came on, instead of just a dream, it became a concept. And I want to take my head off to Exxon. Thank you very much for having faith in Papua New Guinea and you jumped on board. And today, here we are. Ten years later, the project has been successful. Come earthquake that is nature made, or come earthquake that is man made, whatever it is, the project has remained steady, continues to supply gas to our four contractors, our four business contracts. In China, Japan, Taiwan, and uh, continuously earning money for all joint venture partners and also for our country. And I want to appreciate ExxonMobil. You are contributing to where we are today. If I could ask in this glance of my speech, let's synergize Papua, let's synergize Pasca that we've, uh, I beg your pardon, Pinyan that we have signed. And I have indicated here that Pasca will also be progressed. And hopefully, as we progress this, we get a uh, pick up water piece and other associated fields that we have in PNG to bring us to be continuously LNG producing to 2060 LNG. I want to indicate to everyone here, especially our buyers and to those who are in the business of LNG, our government stands ready to continue supporting, uh, supporting investment in this sector. I visited Indonesia and I visited Japan. I also do have close relationship with leadership in China, and I have close relationship from the other country with leadership elsewhere in the region. We belong to the Asia Pacific region, but the need for energy will still remain, and gas will still be the cleaner, best transitional energy option for the next 30, 40 years. And so, you know, out of sync here, PNG has the gas to, uh, to be harvested, and I want to ask us to progress uh, the conversation on Pinyan. If Papua is uh, still up and down in our conversations, I want to ask ExxonMobil, have faith in your country. You came in earlier, saw the way, take leadership, so that we can also progress Pinyan, synergize Pinyan. You've got Muruk, you have uh, Pinyan itself, you've got Jua and other stranded gases. 
uh, you can have a precedent in as far as government support is concerned to all investors. And for Exxon, you know what government support means. When we partner you as a uh, co-partner, and especially with Kunu, uh, any incentive we give is also an incentive to ourselves. We offer fiscal stability. We pay for our equity. We carry our landowner interests. We carry our provincial government interests. We approve tax projects so that our project operators can get a limelight in delivering projects for us and maintain PR in the communities they operate. We also, before, before even first guests or first others, government do invest in key in infrastructures, for instance, in the IDG labor infrastructures that we invest in. We step in in every instance on global issues, and of course, our country is a rule based country. We continue to honor agreement signed and respect what has been signed, and we don't break on our agreement. So that is Papua New Guinea in as far as our, uh, our ability to host world-class investment. And for ExxonMobil, I want to thank you. And you've now brought Angre, uh, pro project that is now tied into the, the, uh, the uh, heights already. The one TCL Angre has been brought inside. I want to appreciate this. I'm looking forward to the Agogo production facility to be tied in uh, with Exxon and all the other work you're doing with your partners in PNG LNG. We're looking forward to those uh, projects becoming successful, just like the last 10 years of success that we've been able to solve together. And uh, thank you again, and as I conclude, I want to say, lastly but not least, in my conclusion, I want to step back and say thank you to Prime Minister Somari, who's now no longer with us, I want to say thank you very much. So please join me in paying respect to the greatest company in the world. Thank you. Uh, I've got somebody Arthur hit there, so let's say thank you. There. That's, the, that's the great man himself on his way to grant 4.27% to the landowners and the five provinces. I want to say thank you again. Next one to the late Edison Aguilo. He was a champion for PMD LNG, and I want to say thank you very much. <laughs> and all we've had, had in this project without the foresight and involvement in 2009. I want to, uh, I want to, uh, if those who can, uh, send us a mic over there, please, um, call up, uh, in 2000, there's, there's a photo in the uh, slides, you will see me signing in 4.30, uh, on the 8th of December 2008 at the volleyball court in Heights. Uh, and I got, got all our landowner leaders together, four nights of not being able to sleep, and only me in that signing occasions signed twice. One as state minister and one as landowner. Here I am signing as landowner. Everybody else had, had, had only one opportunity to sign. Only me had my name in two. Uh, two sides, as Lerner and as, as a, a state minister. And so it was 4.30 in the morning, we were still long ahead. I told everyone, I said, I was a young man here, and we want our LNG to be harvested, but several New Guinea left us. We want our LNG to be harvested still, and later on, oil sets concept could not be progressed. And it is still in a concept set. Here we have ExxonMobil, the world's number one company, was ready to facilitate the harvest of our gas. Well, it may not have satisfied all of us up to today, but 10 years on, major companies and small offshore companies have been created as a result of this project. 10 years on, I am now able to drive from a sea road from Como into Tari based on tax credit project. Ten years on, we now trying to get, we've already got gas fired electricity, and I want to apologize for ExxonMobil on the incompetency of PNG Power. Uh, the government will not go work, we're trying to make sure that we are paid, or the project is paid, in any case, but gas fired electricity is now firing port mostly. Very soon, we will get gas fired electricity, lighting up Tari, Lighting up Koroma, lighting up Koma, lighting up Magarima, Nipa, and many. And so I just, Terra was whispering to me, the design is almost complete. 
very, very soon you will get guests from Heights, uh, electricity from guests in Heights, and uh, light back telephones in Southern Highlands. And so I just want to also thank you, Exxon, and uh, all this great work. Uh, I also need to say this may, be, may not be royalties and equity and cash right, but transformational to life on the ground cannot be equated to money and getting those royalties and equities. Many times we talk about royalties and equities and we forgot the indirect and direct benefit of the projects like this that comes in anymore. And of course, 26 billion Ghana is not a little money, it's a big money that has come back to us. Some of them we have invested well, some of them like UBS in 2014 that we have squandered and wasted, but uh, nonetheless, the project has delivered well to us and we thank those who have come before us. And I want to put uh, the uh, voice on the back of me and ABC News uh, Cutting. Uh, there's an ABC that ran a news article in 2008 and I want to link off my screen to this one. I have it up there on the screen. In 2008, there were many critics of this project, including those who criticized Arthur and the team for going to look for uh, uh, really, in my view, a better way of finding money without cash putting money up front. We, bought, we uh, put together our asset in oil sets and we got the money we need to invest in PNC and But when the government then was making this decision, I think some of them was trying to pick up, uh, 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 and you can Google it, uh, it's, it's in, 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 in the uh, internet. Government then was criticized for making, why doing this deal? Well, today you look like 10 years from production, PNG is adding from this project. Sometimes it pays to offer constructive criticism and not criticism just for the sake of politics. Somebody is gone, we will not get him back. For four sites like what he did, invest in such a project, we sit in Houston today and we have an economy that has grown from an economy that was under 25 billion in 2008 to an economy today. When I took office, it was 79 billion in economy. Today, it's 113 billion in economy based on the Irish population. This project was an impetus for the growth. I want to conclude in the hydrocarbon space. We will bring PASCA with our investors in PASCA. We will work with ExxonMobil to ensure is synergized and we will work in total to make sure Papua still comes on board and PNG will be a guest policy nation until 2016. May God bless ExxonMobil, Papua New Guinea Century, for continued partnership. Thank you very much.